This week I am doing the Ask Gug. For those that don't know me, my name is Ryan Thompson. I host the Gugcast, the podcast for the for the website. Uh, you can add us on iTunes. Just look up GUG Cast. You can send us emails GUGcast at gmail.com. And so let's dive right into some of the questions. I'm gonna hit a couple of the like kind of quick rapid fire ones and then kind of leave a couple of the, the longer ones towards the end. Why Male Models by Chris Lipford. I don't know what you mean. So, um, no. Josh Moores asked, what is your favorite movie? Die Hard is going to be up there. It's probably would save my favorite movie. All right, so let's go to the next question. Robert Miller, Boxers or Briefs? Sir, I've already answered that question. How dare you ask that again? I can't believe you. Mike... Pyatt, sir, I hope I did not butcher that last name. If you've listened to the podcast, I have a bad habit of butchering names, including from people I've known since for like seven, eight years. Um, favorite burnout, I would probably have to also agree with you and say Takedown. Nolan Brown asks, is Night Trap your favorite video game song or is there something even better? Ooh, I'd have to, yeah, I'd have to say the whole reason that Night Trap is awesome is, I mean, yeah, it's the, the dumb campiness that is that game, but that song, I mean, come on, I, I can't sing it because I don't know the words, but look it up. Look up the Night Trap song. Um, that is one of the bad things about that game is because you are constantly having to move from room to room to play it. Um, and for those that don't know, Night Trap was this game, it, probably around 94 when it came out. It was originally on like Sega CD and 3DO and stuff like that. Uh, it was a full FMV game. And it was actually one of the games, not only was more combat, but one of the big games that brought forth the, the ESRB, but so was Night Trap because of some of the content in it. Really, it's nothing bad, but... This is early 90s. This is a time where video games were still mostly misunderstood. But you never got to see all of that song because you, you could when they started playing it, you would have to like go to other rooms and try to stop the bad guys and stuff. So I would recommend actually just going to YouTube and there's a video of them just staying in that room while all the crazy stuff is happening around and the full video of the, the Night Trap song is amazing. And I also love the fact that Depending on what console you played it on, the the your your watching device or I forget whatever they called it was a controller for that console. So if it was on Sega, it was the Sega six button controller. So that was cool. Cassidy Lynn asks, "What is my favorite food?" If I'd had to go in my gut reaction, I'd probably say just Mexican food. Just you know, good taco or nachos. The last one, and this will probably be the one that takes the most time, this one I kind of saved it for last. Michael, more John, I, I don't remember how you said to pronounce, correctly pronounce your last name, so I think you said that was close enough or that was some pronunciations to say more John. Why do you enjoy doing podcasts and what's your goal in doing them all aside from just having fun and talking about it, games, etc.? I think the big thing with podcasts is it is a perfect, like, I have a commute each morning, so I'm going to listen to a podcast. Or, hey, I need to do some work around the house, so let's throw on a podcast. And that's how I listen to them most of the, the one of the ones I listen to is, you know, back when I did have a long commute for work, you know, I, I used to have at least a 40 minute commute one way, and so I would knock out podcasts, like basically listen to one podcast a day because of the. The commute there and back. And even sometimes if I'm just playing a game, like if I'm playing Destiny or something that really doesn't have a story and I don't need to focus on like what's going on in the game and I'm just kind of having fun, uh, I'll put a podcast on, plug it in my headphones and listen to that while I'm playing. Or if it's something like Dota where it's like I'm just, you know, I'm playing by myself and so nobody else is really talking because it's a pub game and the level I'm at, everybody... Is dumb, so including myself. So you know what I would love to see with this with our with our podcast here is as the site grows, I would like to see a few more podcasts kind of pop up and where where ours hits just kind of a general like we just kind of a general 
net. We just kind of throw a net out there and talk about whatever. And Thomas right now is actually doing a wrestling podcast. So I would like to see maybe like a comic or, or just whatever. Whatever the group feel like where we see the group and what they're wanting. And our podcast is a great example. When we first started, I, in all honesty, I was trying to just recreate like the, the giant bomb formula or, or form, formula you see in a lot of video game podcasts that I think I say the giant bomb formula because they're the one of the most well known and honestly they kind of started that trend of what you doing news uh, emails you know talking about that that form and we tried that and then they was longer and we kind of saw that a lot of people wouldn't listen to the longer ones so we tried splitting them into one was just news one was us talking people really didn't listen to the news one so what we found is so far this crowd likes discussion more discussion topics and so that's what we've been going with and, and i would love to hear from anybody that's watching this that's listened to the show what do you think we can change what we're doing right what we're doing wrong should we add a host should we get rid of a host thomas <laughs> nah I, i'm joking we wouldn't have a show without him because he's the only one that knows how to edit. But no, yeah, seriously. And, and eventually I would love to get to the point where we have enough listeners where we can reach out and, and get ads because podcasts are not going to go away anytime soon. Uh, as this media, this style of, I don't really want to say journalism because honestly, game we're enthusiast media people. For the most part, we're not real journalists. As it gets bigger, what you're going to see is probably less of an emphasis on actual writing. I mean, you'll still have that because I think you'll kind of always have that. But more video and and audio because people are busy or on the road or commuting. And, and so you can't sit down and read like an article. But while you're going throughout your day, you can easily just have a podcast on and listen about that new game or... Or you get home at night. As people's watching habits are changing more and more, people are watching less traditional TV and more Netflix, Hulu, stuff like that, and more YouTube. That's why you have guys like PewDiePie and Total Biscuit getting real big because people are watching that over other things. And so I think you'll see more of these other sites get big, like you know your GameSpots, your IGNs. I mean, IGNs already like super big but people will latch on to certain personalities that they see on the videos and will watch those and you'll get a better to me i think you'll get a better opinion out of what a game is and how it plays by watching the quick looks and and having somebody talk about it i know since i've been going to you know certain sites and, and have the few guys that I that I like, yeah, you know, his his opinion usually matches with mine. And I'll watch a quick look. And I can get more out of how the game plays by actually watching them play. And so I'll know if hey the control seemed clunky because he's having a problem with this jump. Uh, I might want to hold off, maybe get that game when it's on sale if I still want it, or if I have enough friends that buys it and it's got co-op or some sort of multiplayer, maybe get it. And you get a better idea of that from the podcasts and videos and stuff and so i would love eventually for this show or the the podcast i do to get big enough to where we can actually reach out and be like look here's our weekly listeners let's do some ads let's you know and and it's and get some of that ad revenue coming in and it's it's a it's still a weird market right now with with that because a lot of your advertising people they like to look at numbers you know I, I worked in a marketing for a radio station for a small period of time and you know they that's what you had to show people you had to be like look this is this is what you're reaching you know this is this is our radio signal goes out this far this is how many potential future people you're reaching this is how much we can do for a month. Uh, we can do it these times of the day because, look, here the numbers say on average we have this many more people listening than we, you know, so your peak hours is drive time, so that's in the morning and in the evening, and lunch. And so that's really what people want, uh, would want add time. Well, you have 
podcast, there is no peak time. So that's why it's still a very early and kind of weird way of like, well, how do we show the numbers? Uh, and and right now, the our podcast is nowhere near even uh, <laughs> doing doing that because we, you know, on average, we've got around 100 listeners a week. So, you know, uh, that's why this is still an important time right now because we... We want to hear from y'all. We want to know what you want as far as what the podcast should we should we throw news back in and make it a little bit longer show or you know whatever. I'm almost to the verge of rambling, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of cut myself off uh, before I before I ramble t- too much longer. So before I keep rambling on, uh, let me go ahead and end this episode of Ask Gug. Uh, once again, my name is Ryan Thompson. You can check me out on the Gugcast. Subscribe to us on iTunes. Send us an email, gugcast at gmail.com. Uh, check out Geeks Under Grace. I do have the occasional review and stuff that I write on there. I just finished one for Grey Goo. Uh, check that game out. It, I liked it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a kind of a different RTS than like StarCraft. It was a little more straight to the point. Make some guys go kill people. And that's what I liked. Uh, oh. And Google Power Rangers. <laughs> Alright, once again, y'all have a blessed week.